anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual back in 2017? The answer is yes. Fam. Fam. Every good content creator is a weirdo! I like, 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 bro, there is, like, I don't understand what the mentality of you get, you, you get, your dreams come true, you get rich, and instead of elevating, you look back and say, yo, I low-key want to be with a minor. Yeah, bro, what type of sick mentality is that? Fam, you have all the girls, all the off-age girls at your beck and call, and you want to go for a jit in high school? That voice still, not still cracking? Nah, bro, that's weird. The end of Dr. Disrespect. Let's get into it. There's a streamer out there who goes by the name Dr. Disrespect. He first began his career online almost 15 years ago, making Call of Duty commentary and other gaming videos. Look at this guy running down the middle of the street. You think he's smart? He's not smart. In fact, his brother isn't smart either. From the start, people so bro's really always been doing this. him and this persona that he put on. This was still a very primitive time for the platform. Yo, as a YouTube whole. broadcast yourself? That's OGs, oh, fam. Who really saw the bigger picture and the massive gains which could come from thinking more like a businessman and less like a run of the mill creator. He was clearly building a brand with a strong direction and a loyal fan base. You're watching one of the most perfect specimens, right? Perfectly designed. Look at, look at that. Look at the hand. Bro, saying perfectly designed, man. Bro, bro, like touching kids. Allegedly. Don't sue me. And the head ratio. Don't sue me. Bam. It's absolutely flawless. My biceps, the exact same size. Like, bro, I'm dad. sorry, bro, but not, not, not only did bro cheat on his wife allegedly, or I'm not sure if he actually did allegedly cheat on his wife, but he also, fam, try to touch little girls. Yo, and don't even get me started on the leaks that came out today. Apparently, he was talking to. We'll get into that. We'll get into Doc, that. Doc, you're the most stand-up dude on Twitch and so damn entertaining. Can we coin your signature dance move as the Slick Daddy Slide? Ooh. <laughs> slick Daddy Slide is crazy. Yes. And over the next half decade, he would grind out YouTube. And he even got some opportunities to work directly in the development of a couple of AAA titles at the time. But it was not until 2015 when he would start streaming on Justin TV, now known as Twitch, and he quickly began to dominate the site. Fucking game! This game is a this game is a joke! Bro, so these, yo, how old? Wait, how old is Doctor Disrespect? Cause bro, this sound like unk, bro. Bro is forty two years old. He's six eight. Dang, bro's a giant. Instead of touching, you know, talking to kids, man, shit, but hooping in the court. Right here. By 2018, Doc was breaking records and signing massive deals with some major brands. It was beyond clear that streaming and this persona that he had created was like a match made in heaven. And this all resulted in him becoming one of the most popular people on Twitch, period. So everything was going great for Doc. Yes, he had a few bumps in the road, like when he cheated on his wife and then- That's not a bump. That is a big bump, fam. All you have to do is beat your meat, get that nut, and then you would have been thinking clearly. Fam, you- you-, you, you. Let's continue with the video. Cried on Let's stream continue. about it. As you guys know, I have a- a beautiful family and a wife and kid i want to be transparent that i've been unfaithful and well first of all why is it apologizing to the internet that's so weird that's 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 looking none of our business that's between you and your your wife or ex-wife you feel me that's kind of crazy and i'm probably going to be taking some time away time off and of course, there was also the time he got a temporary ban on Twitch for streaming in the restroom at E3. I but overall, that. he was still in completely over his head with success and an abundance of opportunity. But then on June 26th of 2020, exactly four years ago to this day, things would change drastically as seemingly out of nowhere Doc would get banned. Twitch's official statement on the ban would read, as is our process, we take appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer has acted in violation of our community guidelines. Yo, I remember when this happened, like 2018, I think 2019. The whole, the whole, like it was just the whole internet was going crazy because, like, bro, how do you get banned? Like, he was like, yo, Doctor Disrespect. I don't know what his current thing is now, but 
or before this all happened, but back in like 2018, 2019, bro was huge, fam. I was into COD, but he got me into COD. So when he got banned after he just got he just got announced that he signed like a 50 million deal, it was kind of like this crazy. It's like, yo, what's going on? Or terms of service. These apply to all streamers regardless of status or prominence in the community, with Discord also removing him from their partner program. That's crazy. Now immediately Doc would claim that he had no idea why he was banned from Twitch, also stating that his contracts were still in good standing. From here he would begin to stream on YouTube, and in August of 2021 he would announce that he knew the reason for his banning and would be suing Twitch. But a lot of people ask me, do, do you know the reason? Yeah, I do know the reason why now. I've known for months now the reason why. And I'll just say this it's right so now. It's so crazy to say because I actually like I like this I like the whole persona that he made. That's actually it was pretty entertaining. It was it was honestly fire. And then and, and now now bro just like man, how come all the good ones just turn out to be complete weirdos? Fam? The reason why we're suing the f out of them. Okay? By March of the next year, it would be revealed that they had resolved this legal dispute and that he would not be returning to the platform. So the speculation and growing anger towards Twitch's decision really only grew in the eyes of the general public. But here is where things get really interesting. Because for the past four years since his banning, Doc has retained so the position that it was unjust oh, okay. and that it really affected his career and potential to make money in a massive way. I make probably a fourth, a quarter of what I was making on Twitch. You think a big time company like Nike is going to want to work with that big question mark huh? or Disney? It Yo, good suck. thing Nike and Disney didn't work with you, fam. You freaking weirdo, fam. <laughs> Bro. Lots of cash here. But now the truth is seemingly coming to light piece by piece. And it all started when a former Twitch employee named Cody Connors tweeted out he got banned because he got caught sitting a minor in the existing Twitch Whispers product. Hey, all right, all right. So I have a question with this right here, right? Why did th why did this guy decide to release this now? Like, I understand like he had to leave Twitch, but like did he this was he holding this bullet until like he quit or something? Cause I don't understand. Like, this is like to me this came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, hey, Dungeons Dragons got banned for this, but there was no lead up to it. It was just like a random bomb shot out of nowhere on a random day too. TwitchCon. The powers that could be read in plain text. Of course, this all sparked a massive storm online, and his buddies rushed to defend him. These are Gosh, some crazy got thick neck, fam. Crazy. Bro, so literally all shoulders fat. and then head. So they've been proven with evidence. What are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? You even had one of the Tate brothers speak up, saying that he knows what it's like to be a tall, successful man who women are throwing themselves at, and he just knows that Doc is innocent. And then you even had Doc himself tweeting out, Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the f***ing internet. I didn't do anything wrong, all of this had been probed and settled, nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring I want to get into this right now. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found. I was still paid. All right, keep that in mind. Monday. So obviously a lot of people found this statement to be sketchy to say the least, while others speculated that he couldn't outright say he wasn't talking to. That, I, all I had to say was no, nothing happened. I, all these allegations are false but the fact that it said no wrongdoing was found and like it was just it's just, uh, interested in meeting up with the minor due to legal bindings the next time he would boot up his stream he would claim that he was not interested in speaking on these allegations at all for those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend not gonna already said what i needed to say I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. And for the rest of this stream, he would seem pretty distraught and even speak about taking- Bro was distraught because he knew his career was about to be over. That's literally why. Bro was literally shooken up at the fact that his career might be done for. Taking some time away I'll, from the wait, internet. Wait, let me not even say that. I'm not even going to say that. It's but I'll look wanting to just too. kind Lucky. of move away from the limelight. Ultimately, that's what it's about. It's time to drive into the sunset, says Swervin. Oof, man, I like your style. It might be time to drive in the sunset, champs. Now, this is where the real hammers kind of start to drop. As his own gaming studio, Midnight Yo. Society, which he... Yo, once I saw this...
Bam, I knew it was over. Once, once a company drops you, best believe, they found something. Because there's no way a company is going to drop you just to drop you. They're going to drop you for a reason. Cold They're making down. money off your name. They're going to need you. But the fact that they dropped you and they figured that the money they were making is not worth the hassle, oh, yeah. You're cooked. Did would announce that they would be terminating their relationship with him, citing that they assumed his innocence, but after speaking with the parties involved, had no choice but to make this damning decision. People speculated that he actually got word of this. Wait, 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 wait. I, I know I keep pausing, I'm sorry, but but since this was settled in court, there is no hard evidence gonna come out because if they if any party releases evidence, won't each party get obligated to sue each other you feel me so like what happens after here you feel me stream and notice that it changed his entire demeanor the text of death the tech yo fam the text of death and then the background music oh bro it's finished it's over it's over fam it's cooked RP's so obviously career. this more or less confirmed that they peeked behind the curtain and didn't like what they saw to a point where they felt like action needed to be taken. Of course people started making jokes saying hey doc I heard you like I'm young and posting videos of <laughs> this quote unquote new setup and they also brought up this clip from two months ago. I remember someone saying doctors disrespect got banned from twitch because he was messaging Whoa! girls on twitch. Why? He said that. <laughs> Wait what? That isn't that's not it. <laughs> We're about to learn all about the DMCA what process the now. That's what I, I'm saying. Why when I heard it, does he say that? If I'm the doc, I'm suing you right now. No cap. Exactly that could be definitely your character. This would all more or less force Doc's hand, so he would once again tweet out that he wants to oh, cut let me the. This. Hello, I like to make a quick. I uh, like to make a quick statement. Let's cut the book. As you know, there's no filter with me. I've always been up in front and real with you guys on anything, but I can be up front about. Anything I can be upfront about, and I've always and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone. Oh yeah, it's finished. Oh, yeah. Bullshit, claiming that he's always been upfront and real. As cooked, he would then apologize to his community and confirm that he would be stepping down from his position in the gaming studio company. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual back in 2017? The answer is yes. Fam. Fam. Every good content creator is a weirdo! I like live like bro. There is like I don't understand what the mentality of you get you you get your dreams come true, you get rich, and instead of elevating, you look back and say, "Yo, I look you want to be with a minor." Yeah, bro. What type of sick mentality is that, fam? You have all the girls, all the of age girls at your beck and call, and you want to go for a jit in high school? That voice still not still cracking? Nah, bro. That's weird. Their weird, real intentions bro. behind That's these so messages? Weird. The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. That's nothing so weird, happened. fam. Look, 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 yeah, look. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes led to too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Gang, she's a minor. Why are you even talking to a minor? What what situation even puts you in a position where it could be considered almost kind of sexually explicit things going on in a conversation between you and a minor? Fam, he was 42 when these when this happened in 2017. Bro was 35 talking to a minor. A grown man. 15 years past 25. Bro. Hey. Bro, that's a, that's a sick mentality, man. That's a sickness. Vince, no pictures were shared, no crimes were committed. I never even met the individual. I went through a lengthy operation regarding a civil dispute with Twitch, and that case was resolved by settlement. Let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. From a moral standpoint, I'll ask- Yo, that's because you were found not guilty in a court of law doesn't mean he didn't do nothing wrong. Morally. Before we take responsibility. I should have never entertained those conversations to begin with. That's and bro on me. was married That's on this me whole time. Adult, a husband and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect and I own my fucking shit. 
This was stupid. Still, Doc would retain that he is not a predator, that he doesn't care about his quote-unquote haters, and lastly made it clear that he had no intentions to go anywhere. So basically, Dr. Disrespect confirms here that he was indeed having inappropriate conversations with someone who was not of age. I find it hilarious that his only real defense of himself is that he never had any intentions behind these personal conversations he was engaged in. So bro, is this casually flirting or, 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 or sexting a minor? Is that what he's trying to say? Um, I really, I wasn't going to do anything. I was just, you know, teasing or weird conversation in a sexual undertone. Fam, he was married with a daughter at the time, texting a jit. A jit. That's so oh, weird, dog. Like, bro, Dr. Disrespect was literally one of the funniest people when I, when I, when he was on his come up. And, and, and then all of a sudden, bro, it's like, I ah, we don't want to defame no more. I don't want the money. I just want to talk to children. Allegedly. Kind of like saying, oh, Don't I didn't plan me. to rob the bank. I just got the ski mask, That's the crazy. gun, the rope, crazy. and of course the blueprints of the building as well as the security guard schedule. And let's be clear that this man, Dr. Speck, was caught in a good way. This man was literally caught with his hand, hands in his pants, fam. And we got caught. It's like, oh, I didn't do nothing. I was doing nothing. I was just scratching my... Bro, bro, we caught you. We caught you trying to spank. <laughs> what you on about? That these chat logs have not and likely will never be released to the public, but they it's pretty can't. obvious there was something damning in there. One of the heads of his now former studio tweeted out, This is a statement from me personally, it does not reflect any of my companies, and has not gone through any legal or PR approvals. If you inappropriately message a minor, I cannot work with you. Period. I promised to only act on facts, and I did. And some of his good friends would even come forward with their reactions to this new information. I read through Doc's tweet and in that very tweet I'm sorry but whoever uh, this guy is fam this fat. man is built so freaking strong fam look literally it goes shoulders no neck it just the neck is morphed into into the body is this straight buffness fam you know he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes you know it and, went and weird look, sometimes no bro no that's, like that's that. no excuse bro i have known doc for why are these guys both shirtless a while now we've played games for years if he knew that was a minor, and those were the messages being sent, I cannot support that. No matter what it looks like publicly, it usually means someone did something, right? Or there was some truth to some, enough truth. Right? You, you, you settle to cover things up. You settle to not let things get out Yo, there. Yo, I'm sorry, Ninja. I know you're talking really tough facts right now, but fam, why isn't your sleeve not finished? It's like, it's like, it's like it's like this the front per portion is done and like it's not complete sleeve it's like he got like a 50 percent sleeve and another one bare skin ninja i need that full 360 man don't context miners or do any of that shit. and even the 49ers have released a statement saying that they're done with the doctor that's crazy, personally man. i cannot comprehend how people make these types of mistakes over and over again like it's so easy to not only not speak to a minor, but to not speak to anyone when you are in Facts. that type of position. Facts. Like why even begin to engage in conversation with this person? It just goes to show me how little self-control he had at the time he was 37 years old with- 37 years old with a beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter, I'm assuming. And bro is out here texting minors. This is his wife right here. That's a grown woman. You want JIT? Underage? Not even fully developed? You want a JIT? Over a fully grown, beautiful snow bunny queen? And bro wanna text a jit, a minor in high school or freaking middle school. That's so weird, dog. Like, bro, that's that's like, bro, I don't understand the mentality between these people, fam. Bro, put me in that position, bro. One day I will be fam. I would never even text a jit. I won't even yo, unless it's a supporter, like a male support, I'm not even bro, bro. That's so weird, fam. The wife and kid. Like, if you ask me, I think the only real explanation would be that his personified ego had actually become a part of his real character. Dressing up like that every day for a decade plus playing a caricature of yourself has to damage something about an individual psychologically. And the funniest part to me is that he rode the unjust cancellation wave for such a long time, made millions of dollars doing so, only for this all to come to light. But the Twitch ban is really how it's really affected us not just from a financial standpoint but from a from a networking standpoint from all the relationships we built over the past five years in terms of activision and ea i mean everyone all the big sponsors all the big partnerships they have to question why did you get banned 
Like the fact that he was out here playing the victim to me is just an absolute joke. That's but I want to know what well, you guys think about bread, this man. situation down below. I know you still have a lot of people defending this man for some reason, even when he literally admitted to his wrongdoing. But either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and some other streamer drama out he needs to be covered. So I'm out. Bro, W video from Jamari fam. Yo, Dr. Disrespect, man, you were, you were, yo, you were, you were, you were one of them. But just like all the greats, you turn into the dark side, the pedophile side. So, um, yeah, stuff.